Though Kansas lawmakers did not come to any resolution yet on filling that $406 million budget hole, and the deadline is getting closer. Brian Abel at the State House in Topeka with whether we're getting any closer to a solution. Brian. Mike, the short answer is no, though there may be an end in sight. We are learning that a key Republican in the House, Representative Mark Hutton, has said he will vote yes for a bill despite there not being any business tax hikes. That was his sticking point, and his change in vote may change a handful of others enough to get the 63 votes the House needs to pass a bill. This has been what both chambers, the House and the Senate, have looked like most of the day empty and they both are now as a tax committee hashing out disagreements between the two scheduled to continue talks at this very moment and the chambers won't be back in session until that's done what they do agree on a 6.55 percent increase on sales tax a food tax drop to 4.95 percent and a cigarette tax increase of 50 cents governor brownback says now's the time and he will sign it if it passes you still and everybody needs to look at this bill and say look I'm going to support it because we need to move this forward. We need to, in the Constitution, it's required to have adequate resources to pay for the budget that you pass. And so now it's a waiting game to see if enough Republicans in the, in the House can stomach a bill without those business tax hikes that the governor has threatened to veto. We might be able to see that happen at 8 o'clock tonight when they're scheduled to reconvene. If they do pass a bill, all eyes will be on the Senate, who passed a different version of this bill just a handful of days ago by one vote. So we'll have to see if they have enough votes again this time around. Reporting live in Topeka, Brian Abel, 41 Action News.